January 28th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Matthew chapter 28 from the New Testament. Now after the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly there was a severe earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were shaken and became like dead men because they were so afraid of him. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he was lying. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. You will see him there. Listen, I have told you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them saying, Greetings. They came to him, held on to his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest everything that had happened. After they had assembled with the elders and formed a plan, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came at night and stole his body while we were asleep. If this matter is heard before the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story is told among the Jews to this day. So the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain Jesus had designated. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came up and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. God. Okay, yay. <laughs> Jesus is risen. And people are seeing this incredible miracle and some people are realizing that it is a very incredible thing. Others, of course, as they always are, are fearful. Fearful of each other, fearful of you, fearful of what could happen to their position of power. But at the end, you say, and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. And you are always with us. So as we go out and share about you and your son and the amazing things that you do with us and for us and because of us, <laughs> we know that you are always with us. And I love your consistency and I love your comfort. And I love that feeling of being wrapped up in your arms and feeling so incredibly safe. And I also need to remember that feeling when I am out, when I have gone and I'm sharing about you and trying to deal with day-to-day -day life and things get a little bit scary for me or I became frightened or fearful for whatever reason. I need to remember that comfort that feeling that I am always wrapped up in your arms, that you have promised that you will always be with us. Always. Not 72% of the time, always. And sometimes, God, I, I know that the going part tests a lot of our levels of letting go of things. That we may want to hold on to loved ones or material possessions. And, and when you call us to go, it doesn't say go and stop and do this. <laughs> you just say go. 
And so we have to be ready to go and we have to be ready to give up anything that we are trying to hold on to, even if that's just control. And we need to go. And we need to go with the knowledge that we don't have to be afraid and we don't have to be worried and we don't have to be concerned about the future because you promised you would always be with us. We can't get that guarantee from anybody we know here on earth. Oh, I know people say that to us, but you are the only one who can actually do that for us. So God, I ask you today to guide my steps because you know I'm going. I'm going any and every place that you've asked me to go. And you also know that I'm struggling with a couple of things I want to hold on to in that going process. A lot. I am holding on to them and I am fighting you over them. So today, I ask for you to help remind me that you have called me to go. To go and tell others about you. Not go and tell others about you because of X, Y, and Z for what I will get out of it. But go and tell others about you because you've commanded it. And because of the love I have for other people, that I would want them to have that same relationship with your son. Thank you, God. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>